Are you ready to bring your stream to the next level? Do you want to add things like your webcam or your social media handles? Do you want to give your audience and your viewers a far better experience than just watching your gameplay? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then stick around because that's what you're going to learn how to do in today's video. It's time to kick it up a notch. Hey everybody, it's Johnny and welcome to part 3 of the How to Stream from Your Mac series. In part 1, we got the software. So we downloaded and installed OBS, the iShowU audio capture drivers, and the PS4 Remote Play app. In part 2, we set up a very basic gameplay scene that included the PS4 and its audio. Here in part 3, we're going to kick it up a notch. We're going to add our webcam. We're going to add our social media handles and we're going to add some images. If you look at the scene around me, you can see all kinds of things going on. I've got an animated background, you've got my logo off to the side here, and of course the most important bit down below, make sure to like, subscribe, and click that little bell to enable notifications. So here we are back again in OBS, and this is where we left off in episode two. We've created our scene and added a couple of sources, our gameplay, and our audio. If you don't remember what those are, click the card up above one of these corners over there. <laughs> Can never get that right. But click that card and go back into episodes one and two to get the software you need, install it, and set up a basic stream. At this point, our stream is relatively boring for our viewers. All it contains is the game and the audio. Not really exciting. So we need to do things to spice things up a little, to let the viewers have a better time. First, let's talk about what an overlay is. An overlay is just an element that you add to your scene to somehow enhance it. For example, we've already done this. When we started off OBS, we had a blank, a blank black box. And we could stream that if we wanted to, but nobody really wants to watch a big black box. So we added something to it. We added our PS4 gameplay. That's an overlay. It's on top of the black box we have. So now when we stream, we would actually stream the game. A little bit more entertaining than the black box. We're gonna add some more. And as I said, these are graphics or they're text or they're videos, they're images. There are all kinds of things that you can add to help enhance the stream. For those of us who aren't as creative, there are a number of sites out there that provide a lot of elements for you to use within your streams. A couple of my favorite are from nerdordie.com, twitchoverlay.com, twitchtemple.com, one that I use on my main channel and through my Twitch and through YouTube videos. I downloaded for free from twitchoverlay.com. It's called the Diamonds High. And I apologize in advance, for some reason OBS, whenever I try to add an image, sort of hangs. So if my, if the webcam down in the corner sort of looks like it's hanging in the video, but the audio continues, it's because of what OBS is doing. So bear with that, or, or keep that in mind as we go through this. All right, so I downloaded an overlay called Orbitron. And this is free from Twitch Temple. You can download it. I will provide the link down in the description. And it provides a number of different elements that we can add. It's got some social media icons. It's got a webcam frame. It's got uh, some elements and graphical elements you can put on the top of your screen. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing that we're going to add is going to be a little image for a little graphic at the top. We'll call this the uh, top bar. And we go to the, the plus sign, we add image, it brings up this window, and this is where the camera's gonna freeze up for a few seconds, so I will continue to speak, but you, you won't see me moving, it might be a little jarring. But you click the browse button here, and this will bring up, this will bring up a window. And I've actually already got myself into where I wanna be for the overlay elements. I've got all of these different potential choices here. I'm going to pick the supporter bar 
and it'll show you it'll show you a preview over here of what your image is going to be so there's a number of different choices i'm going to pick this one here when you click open it'll show up you click ok and now it's added so now we have this bar but we don't want to keep it over here in the corner that looks a bit just kind of blah so we're gonna just like before we're gonna click and drag and we're gonna move it towards the center of the of the screen here once you get it into position the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some text so again we click the little plus button go to text I'm gonna put it as our name and I'm gonna bang those keys <laughs> then here we select the font now I'm going to use the Orbitron font and you can see what it looks like here. You can pick whatever you want. Um, these fonts, by the way, are part of the Orbitron pack. Well, they're not part of the pack, they're in the README and you have to go and download and install them and it's really simple to do. click OK, and you type in whatever text. So we're gonna type in our name here. Well, my name, not yours. And so Johnny Bravo. And you click OK, and that puts up the name over here. And like before, you just drag this element to where you want it. So I'm gonna put it sort of in the center here. And you can fine tune the placement of these elements by using your arrow keys. So if you move your arrows left and right, up and down, you can really fine tune it. That looks pretty good right there. So I'm gonna click off of this and take a look. And you can see that it's pretty centered. It looks pretty good. I might click it a couple pixels over to the left here. And there we go. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna select multiple things, you just hold down Command and click on the element you wanna select. And that'll select them both and they become grouped and you can move them. So I'm gonna move this a bit over to the right here like this. And now we're again going to look at the pack and it looks pretty close. And as you can see, this is a process. It's you designing something the way you want it to look. What's the next bit we're gonna do? Well, we're gonna add our Twitter and our YouTube names. So we're gonna grab some icons, which are images. And again, forgive the freezing here, but we're gonna add an image with that little plus. We're gonna call this YouTube icon. Hit enter or click OK. And again, it brings up this window. You click the Browse button. So we're going to go up a level here and into our Orbitron package. And we go into social media icons. We're going to pick the small ones. And we're going to pick YouTube. Click on Open. And as you can see, there's your YouTube icon. And up in the top left corner here, very small, is our YouTube icon. All right, apparently I can't do this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it large, drag it to where I want it, and then resize it. It's just easier that way, so you don't have to deal with such a tiny little, tiny little element. Let's see what size we like it here. Again, we just drag it wherever we want. That's a little too big for me. I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller. Move it down, um, set it over here some. And there we go, there's our little YouTube icon. We're gonna do the same for Twitter. So we click the little plus button, add another image, and again, we'll call this, we'll call this Twitter. Click on Browse. Now we click the little Twitter icon here. Click Open. 
click OK, and you've got your icon. Maybe we can drag this one. Oh, we actually got to drag that one without it uh, resizing itself on us. So we'll set that one just about there. And you can see the YouTube and the Twitter icons. YouTube icons just a little bit bigger. So we're gonna try to resize that. Touch, maybe bring it down one little bit here. To try to even them up. There we go. Okay, well that's great. Now all we have to do is add our name. So we again click the little plus button. And we go back to text. I'm going to put um, username. We're going to select our font, and again, this is I'm going to pick lemon, which is lemon milk, and this is another font that uh, the Orbitron pa package recommends you use. So we can click regular or italic. I've also got this light one, and the light one's the one I actually like best for this. Size the 32 is a bit too big, so let's bring it down to 16. Let's see how it looks. Click OK and my Twitter handle and my YouTube channel name are the same so I type that in and click OK. And you can see it's up here so what we're gonna do is just drag this around we did with the thing before and set it up right there. Looks pretty good, might be a little too close so we're gonna Put it over just a little bit here and check it out there we go so we want to add that same thing over here so we can add an existing so what we'll do is click the plus again and go back to text and here instead of creating a new one we just click add existing we'll add username which is the one we just did and click ok now obviously if your youtube channel or your twitter or whatever you decide to put up here are different then you would have to make those changes as well. You would just add a new text. Once you've put, positioned it where you want it, you click OK, and there we go. So we've got the very beginnings of our overlay. Of our overlay. At this point here, what we will do is we will add a webcam. So you can see down the bottom right corner, which is here, it's very confusing when you're staring into the camera and you can't actually see where it is on the screen. Um, but in one of these bottom corners, you'll see a camera. Or me. Hi. All right, so let's do that here. Let's add ourselves to this to this scene here. Again, we're going to click plus. We go to video capture device. And a video capture device could be your webcam. It could be an external cam. It can be a capture card if you have one. All of those fall under video capture device on this we're going to call it uh, webcam click OK and we're going to look for it so right now what we're going to see is you see I have two cameras I'm going to click the FaceTime HD which is my laptop's camera we wait a second while the beach ball spins and there we go now we have webcam you can see the presets 1280 by 720 you can change those if you'd like you can on the, so Excuse me, so now that we have the webcam up, we'll keep it at 1280 by 720, which is its default res resolution, and we click OK. Obviously, this is a little too big, so just like before, we resize things. So we're going to resize it down to about here. If that's too big for you, you can make it a little smaller. I mean, you can make it really, really tiny, but that's <laughs> kind of silly. So you want to have it take up some space, but not too much space of your of your game, right? I mean, yes, you want your viewers to see you, but you also want them to be able to see your game. So you make it, you know, whatever size you like. Just keep that in mind that you don't want it to be overwhelming for them. All right, now that we have this, we're gonna add a little box around it. So we're gonna add an image, and once again, we go to plus, click image. We'll call this cam box, and Remember, this is a 1280 by 720, so it's a 16 by 9 resolution. So we need to look for a, a frame that is a 16 by 9. Click Browse, and down here you'll see Webcam 16.9. That's the one you want to pick if you chose the 1280 by 720. If you have a 4x3 type resolution, like 640 by 480, you would pick this one here. You click on Open, 
and click OK. And now we can move this around to cover our camera and resize it as we want. So we'll move it down, let's say we want it down the bottom left corner of our screen. Okay, now we just bring our camera image here, sort of place it in, in the scene, or place it in the box rather, and stretch out the camera till it fills everything up. And as you can see, I made it just a little too big here so we can squeeze it down a little bit. Move this bit down here off to the left a little, little bit outside and see how it looks and it looks pretty good I'm going to stare at it for a second here but we can see down the bottom I've got a little black bar down there so we will move this down a touch that that should maybe just a smidge more a little bit to the left Click out to see how it looks. And at this point, it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. And there you have it. And again, if you don't want it on the bottom left, you can just com uh, command click these elements. Get your cam box and your webcam. And you can move them around. So let's say you want it sort of more in the middle off to the side here. It really depends on your game and where you, there's not a lot of action happening in the game, right? So we can move it over on this side, or you can move it to this side, or wherever you want it. I'm gonna leave it right here for now, just a little bit above the bottom of the screen. And there we go. Now we've got ourselves our first overlay. One of the things I do wanna talk about before we end this is the ordering of things. So as you can see, I have the cam box on top, the webcam on, underneath that, then username and so on and so forth. And finally the PS4. So if I click and make this visible, yes, it looks horrific. But we will bring this up. We'll move this off to the side a little bit here. Now it should be down the bottom right. And this is what it looks like in game. So you can see in the game, you've got your camera, you've got yourself, you've got your overlay on top. What happens if I start changing the order of things? Well, let's look at this camera here, right? So if I click on the cam box and I start moving it up and down, as I move it down, it first goes behind the camera and it goes behind a bunch of things that are on top so it doesn't really impact them. But if I move it all the way down to the bottom, it disappears behind my game. So that's how you can move things in and out. So we wanna put this all the way at the top so it covers out nicely. Once again, bring up the game and there we go. Now you've got your first overlay.